Let me give you this simple little talk, how to go from average to fortune. There's five simple steps. Here's the first one, get serious. I don't know any substitute for that. I know a guy that's got a half a dozen jokes keeping him from becoming wealthy. He's not known as rich. He's known as a joker. And you must get serious about two very important things. Number one is setting your goals and where you want to go. What do you want to do economically? Where do you want to go? What do you want to be? How much would you like to earn? How far would you like to go? Those are some major questions to ask. Then you have to get serious about another important subject. And that important subject is called personal development. Striving hard to become the kind of person that you want to be. 10 years from now, you will surely become someone. The big question is, who? So to answer the question of where you want to arrive and the kind of person you want to be, you've got to get serious. Now, the second point is, get smart. In fact, in this decade, you must be much smarter than you were in the last decade. You've got to read the books. You've got to come up with the information. There's nothing worse than being stupid. And if you will read the books, learn from your experiences, do all the things that you possibly can to get the information, sure enough, you'll be wiser this year than you were last year. Keeping a journal, going to the lectures, going to the seminars, picking up ideas from other people. You just must keep up this steady process of learning. Never cease your quest for knowledge. Now here's number three. You've got to get going. All of the things that you've learned will not do you that much good if you don't put it into an action plan, game plans, how to put all the good things that you've learned into action, how to make the changes and how to actually do the work, how to actually function. Some people are ever learning, but they don't put it into action. It's like the man who keeps bringing materials to the building site and never builds anything. See, if you do that long enough, fairly soon they'll come and take you away. You've got to do something with what you've learned. You've got to take action. You've got to get going. Get going. It's a major key. Now here's number four. You must get excited. You've got to get excited over some very basic things. One is get excited over your ability to make yourself do the necessary things. And anytime a person wishes to, they can make major changes in their life. It doesn't ever have to be the same after today. No telling what you could do today if you really wish to. What I would ask you to do, starting today, is get excited about committing an act. An act that's positive, an act that's constructive, to make the changes in your life that you want made. Get excited about your potential. Human capacity is usually never the problem. We can learn to do the most incredible things. All we need to do is take the time to do it. So it's not a matter of capacity. It's a matter of excitement, it's a matter of will, and it's a matter of wanting too bad enough. Any day you pick out, you can make major changes. Here's number five. Number five is get away. You've got to learn to get away. You must learn to get away and be alone. Learn to get away and learn how to live as well as how to earn. How sad it would be to learn how to earn well, but not learn how to live well. Lifestyle is how you learn to live your life. Some people have money, but they don't even know how to spend it. They don't know what to do with it. They don't get joy from it. Rather, they get animosity. That's the difference in not knowing how to live. It's called lifestyle. Then you've got to take time to cultivate good friends. You've got to take time to be with the people who are important to you. Take the time. Reflect on your life. Do some growing away from your enterprise. Then when you come back to your enterprise, after you have taken this time to balance your life, you will find that on the job, working on your enterprise, things will really go much better. Get serious, get smart, get going, get excited, and get away. I've been saying for a long time, you have greatness in you. When I think about where I came from, had I not been willing to invest in myself, had I not been willing to believe that I had greatness in me, that's how I know you've got a lot in you you don't even know. And I want you to really remember this. 
is not where you start, it's where you're going. When scripture says, I has not seen, nor has entered the heart of mankind what God has in store for you, that means something. Many of us don't even dream anymore. The majority of people are not hungry. Listen, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. I want you to know something, that the bigger your dream is, I want you to understand the harder to grind. What I am telling you is that if you're willing to go beast mode, you can have whatever you want. I'm a living example. I believe effort, and you've heard me say it, your mama might come from privilege. You might have a father that can give you everything your little heart desires, but you will not outwork me. You might have small beginnings, but there's no excuse. You might be the ant, and the ant has very little, but he's determined. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're going to have to get up. God has an incredible life for you, but you got to be willing to go through something to get to it. Being successful is not an accident. You can believe in God all you want, but if you don't work, man, it ain't going to happen. Wherever you find yourself, there that's where you made a decision to be. Based upon how much work are you willing to put in, keep it moving. One of the things that you don't want to do is become comfortable with where you are. We're here to work. This is no place to stand still. When you are going through some stuff, if you keep it moving, you'll get out faster. Ambition just the unwillingness to settle. Keep moving and keep learning. Opportunity knocks on every door. No, opportunity stands by silently waiting for you to recognize it. You're supposed to evolve. We've been trained to be who we were not to be. And a lot of people have made the decision to give up. A lot of people have thrown in the towel. It's a process to achieve mastery. And quitting does not make it any faster. We got all the tools we need to do whatever we want to do. Just say to yourself, this is going to be the best day of my life.